the Naples and Sports Desk with Sports Director Scott Lever. Who is the greatest basketball player ever to play in the BMO Harris Bank Center? Well, most likely it was Magic Johnson. That's right, Magic played in the arena when it was the Metro Center. Not with the Lakers, but shortly after he discovered he had HIV and he had retired from the Lakers. He launched a five-city tour with a group of former NBA players he called Magic's All-Stars. On December 1st, 1993, they came here to take on the Rockford Lightning. That's tonight's Stateline Sports Memory. The fans poured into the Metro Center for the biggest magic show ever to hit Rockford. I followed his career a long time, and the guy's great. I think he just appeals to everybody of all ages. From Michigan State, number 22, Magic Johnson! An NBA legend was gracing a CBA court. The fans don't seem to care that Magic has HIV, and Magic says the virus rarely crosses his own mind. Only time I think about it is twice a day. Dropped that medicine, boom, that's it. Magic delivered off the opening tip, whipping a pass to John Long for the first basket of the game. The vintage fingertip roll, the great court vision are still there. So are the no-look passes. But more often it was Magic's teammates, Reggie Theus and Jack Haley, who gave the Lightning trouble. They combined for 65 points. For most of the game, Magic was hooked up against the Lightning's own number 32, Jackie Robinson. He's a fabulous player. When I first came out tonight, uh, it was like a childhood dream. A few things about Magic may never change. He clearly loves the game. The fans love to see him play, and he still wins. The final, Magic's All-Stars won 30, the Lightning won 19. I don't deviate from my game. You know, 21 assists is what I want. Uh, I think I had some good rebounds. That's what I want, you know. And, and the number one thing we want, that's what I want. <laughs> Magic had 17 points to go with his 21 assists. 8,900 fans, a sellout crowd, turned out for that game. On well, Monday on my Stateline Sports Memories, I talked with a Rockford man who had the honor of snapping the football to the legendary Red Grange when they were teammates at the University of Illinois, Bob Rich the First. We continue to recognize our spring sports seniors.